name is Claire Rhodes, and I'm pleased to introduce you to Quapi, the photo cropping app that gamifies real-time data collection on crop yields, designed by farmers for farmers. The benefits of big data and AI remain largely inaccessible to the world's 1 billion smallholder farmers, yet arguably, it is these farmers who need this data the most. Smallholders face significant, numerous challenges on a daily basis, now including COVID-19, and face this risk without any access to external data. This is currently a typical data management system for a smallholder. Access to yield prediction data could undoubtedly enable smallholders to farm more sustainably and more profitably. Our plan to tackle this challenge starts with coffee. Why coffee? We already know AI models can be used to predict coffee yields. This has been proven and can be trained using photos of coffee branches and coffee cherries. Unlocking AI's potential to support smallholders with yield predictions faces one big barrier. Training AI models requires a very large volume of ground truthing data. This does not currently exist at scale because it is hard and costly to collect reliable on-farm data, the data that is collected is not standardized, and the data is time-bound and a static snapshot, not real-time. What if we could use proven behavioral change methods to involve farmers in the data collection process? enabling them to see the instant rewards from their actions. This is where Quapi will come in. Meet Sylvia, one of the Peruvian coffee farmers we work with. At the start of the season, Sylvia uses Quapi to take a photo of her coffee cherries. Immediately, she receives a yield prediction back based on her photo. Throughout the season, Sylvia continues to photo crop, uploading more photos as her coffee cherries ripen. This is all incentivized by Sylvia earning points that enable her to move up Quapi's farmer leaderboard, unlocking rewards as she progresses. Quapi will enable Sylvia to access bespoke tips on how she can improve her farm yields and profits. Across multiple seasons, Sylvia's predicted and actual coffee yields are documented so that she can track her farm's long-term performance and potentially access finance to invest in her farm. At the same time, Copy will be building a groundbreaking photo data set. Uniquely, the data set will be real time and continuous. We will create a low cost mechanism to collect a large volume of ground truthing data, generating thousands of photos, all in a standardized format, removing currently high levels of variance. This will be overlaid with secondary environmental data to train and refine AI generated yield predictions. Our team represents a diverse group of world-class experts who collectively bring internationally recognized expertise in farmer-centered design and scaling digital solutions with smallholders and in pairing agronomy with pioneering yield prediction models using AI, as well as an international network of over 1 million smallholder farmers. So far, we have tested data collection methods with over 600 farmers and learned how these farmers would like to use the data in the decision making. From here, our copy prototyping plan has two main interdependent work streams. Firstly, demonstrating our data proof of concept, proving that large volumes of photo data can be uploaded using smartphones and used to train the AI model. And secondly, establishing and working with farmer design groups in Peru and Uganda to develop and test copy including trialing incentives to photo crop and ensuring the yield predictions generated are accurate, valuable and actionable. From there, we will scale to 50,000 farmers to validate the model. We already have the power and the expertise to develop, test and scale copy beyond coffee to other crops and scaling to millions of farmers worldwide. While also creating and open sourcing a unique real time data set to advance AI innovation, and ultimately increasing incomes for smallholders worldwide, while delivering our vision to put the power of big data firmly into the hands of these smallholder farmers. Thank you.